Hi. In this video, we're going to have a little think about augmented sixth chords. There's a whole group of chords that are known as chromatic chords. In other words, they use notes that don't really belong to the key, but they have a function within the key and they give the music a little bit of color. So if you want to get into chromatic chords, then the augmented six is a really colorful way of just adding something to the music. Lots of people kind of vaguely know about them, but they get a bit confused as to how to construct them. So that's what I'm going to spend a few moments just talking about now. So I'll give you the recipe, uh, which may seem a bit strange at first, but hopefully it will make sense as we go. So let's assume we're in the key of C major, and here is step one of the recipe, which is that we're going to start by finding the lowered sixth degree of the scale. So if I'm in C major, here's C. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So A is the sixth degree of the scale. A flat is therefore the lowered six. It's not G sharp, it's A flat. So the first note you're going to put here is A flat. And this is where people lose their nerve because you immediately think, well, what's A flat got to do with C major? Well, at one level, nothing. But in terms of an augmented sixth chord, it's a, an essential note in C major. Now, I might just say at this point, if you're dealing with trying to find one of these in a minor key, you won't need to lower the six because in a sense, it's already lowered. So if you're thinking in C minor, the sixth degree of the scale of C minor is A flat. Okay, so if you're in C minor, just take the sixth degree of the scale, A flat. If you're in C major, find the sixth degree of the scale, A natural, lower it by a semitone. So that's step one in the recipe. Step two in the recipe is, having found this note, the A flat in the case of C major, find the note that is an augmented six above it. There's the clue, augmented six. So what's an augmented six above A flat? This is where you have to know your intervals. And the answer is F sharp. So there we go, there's F sharp. So that interval is an augmented six. Step three, put the tonic in the middle. So we're in C major, therefore the tonic is C. And that gives me the basis of an augmented six chord. So I've got A flat, C, F sharp. Okay, now that's the generic term for augmented six, but the augmented six comes in three different forms, known as the Italian six, the French six, and the German six. So what does that mean? If you've got the basic augmented six chord, maybe with a tonic doubled up here somewhere, then that would be an Italian six. Now, if you want to write a French six, start off with the same chord. So there's the A flat, the lowered six. Here's the F sharp, an augmented six above it. Here's the tonic C in the middle. And if you want to turn it French, what you do is you add the note that is an augmented fourth above this bottom note. So bottom note's A flat, augmented fourth above that is D. So this is the basic augmented six. So, and that's the basis of an Italian six. If I want to turn it French, add the augmented fourth. It's a rather cheeky chord, isn't it? I rather like the French six, I have to say. So there we are, there's the French. Same thing but with an augmented fourth above the bottom note. Now, what do I do if I want to turn it German? <clears throat> Here's the basic chord again. So there's the A flat down at the bottom. I've got my C tonic in the middle and that augmented six F sharp up at the top. And what I'm going to do this time is to add the note that is a perfect fifth above this bottom note. So A flat's at the bottom, a perfect fifth above that is E flat. So I'm now going to add in E flat, all right? So I've now got A flat, C, E flat, F sharp. Now when you listen to that, you might say, sounds like a dominant seventh chord. Well, it would be a dominant seventh chord if the top note were G flat, because A flat, C, E flat, G flat would be a dominant seventh in the key of D flat major. But because it's F sharp at the top, even though it sounds the same, it's actually a German six. So here's the basis of the Italian. Here's the basis 
of the French and here's the basis of the German. If you want to write one of these chords, where do they tend to go after you've played them? Well, they tend to move on to chord five or one C and then five. So um, if I take an Italian six, I'm in C major. Now say I want to put an Italian six in next. So there's my Italian six. Having done my Italian six, I'm going to go one C and then five. Or I might just take my um, Italian six and go straight to five. And the same will be true the French or the German, but here's the French. Hear that augmented fourth air is rather nice, isn't it? Goes on to a five or one C, five. And it will be the same in the minor key. So if I had a French six and I was in C minor wanting to go one C five, that would work the same way. The same will be true of the German six. The only thing to watch out for on the German six, because you've got a perfect fifth between A flat and E flat, if you go on to chord five, you might just end up with consecutive fifths, doing something like this. So be a little bit careful with the German six that you don't then end up progressing to a chord that gives you a consecutive fifth. So with a German chord, it's quite often better to go to one C and then to five, that would be the major, this would be the minor. But you can hear they're wonderfully colourful chords. So if you're writing a piece, you might just think, well, I'm quite happy with the piece I'm writing, but it sounds a bit plain in the chords. Maybe you could slip in one of these every now and again, and it just gives you a bit of colour. Or if you're playing a piece and you're thinking, well, this is a bit weird, I'm in C major and I've got A flats and F sharps and I don't know what. Well, you might just think, ah, could it be one of these chords? And then you'll be able to just express the moment when you're playing it. So there we are, a brief introduction to the augmented six chords in the Italian, French and German forms, and an invitation to kind of get happy with them, get familiar with them, and to use them in your composition or recognize them in your playing.